Hello everyone, Sean Sports Enthusiast here and in this tutorial video I'm going to be showing you how you can verify your game files on Steam. This is particularly useful for OMC2 players who are encountering issues with their game, particularly parts of the map missing, tiles missing or the game just not acting the way it should be. So today I'm going to be showing you how to verify the game files but in particular I'll be showing you how to verify the OMC2 files but nonetheless it's the same for any game. So what you want to do is you want to navigate into your Steam, so just double click on Steam right there. Then you're going to go into our library. Once we're in the library, just hover over to the game we want to verify. So if I go into the OMC, if I click OMC2, as you can see here, and then I click this gear icon, what we do is we click uh, Manage, I think it was, and then we no. So you go to Properties, Properties, and then on the Properties you want to go to Local Files, and then if you're having issues, what you want to do is you want to verify the integrity of the game files. So you click this, and then a little bar is going to come up, and it's going to start verifying the game files. So what verifying the game files means is basically Steam will do an analysis of its uh, of the game files it has on its servers against the game files that you have in your directory and if anything doesn't match then it's going to delete that file and it's going to replace it so basically sometimes obviously too if you're installing fonts if you're installing other kinds of maps and etc this can uh, break your game or this can overwrite a required a required uh, file for the game to run so therefore it will overwrite that and it should fix any issues so it's basically like uninstalling and reinstalling the only difference is instead of doing the whole uninstall you're only just reacquiring what's missing and what needs to be fixed one thing to bear in mind when you're doing this with omc2 is that this uh when it verifies the game files not only does it verify the omc2 files it verifies the files of any payware dlc you have so if you have any mods for your dlcs like branding patches or like or um, like speed mods, anything that's uh, changed the scripts, then that will be overridden. So make sure you back that up before you verify the game files. This may be the case for other games as well, but any anything that's part of a payroll DLC file or a or a Steam DLC uh, file or part of the base game file, it will be overridden. So make sure you back it up. So Sky mods and uh, face mask mods will also be overwritten. This will not overwrite any file that is a community file that's not from Steam Workshop. And so basically, if you've got your uh, files from a third uh, party website, so for example, if you're installing a map from C2, a freeware map, a freeware bus, that won't be overwritten as that's not part of the Steam file database. However, if you install something from the City Skylines work, uh, from a workshop, for example, let's say City Skylines, there is a potential that it may uh, be overwritten if you've changed any of the workshop files. One thing to highlight here for any OMC2 players is when you verify the game files, make sure you reapply the 4 gigabyte patch. This also goes to any other 32 bits uh, game that you are playing on Steam that um, you have, you're using the 4 gigabyte patch on. Make sure to reapply the 4 gigabyte patch because it does remove it. And particularly for OMC2, uh, if you're playing Add on London, anything like that, it's going to cause issues. So once you verify the game files, it's very important that you reapply the 4 gigabyte patch. I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, one thing to mention is once it finishes verifying the game files, you're going to get a pop up message that's going to say X number of files. Uh, fail to validate and validate it and will be reacquired and then you're done that's it so hope you found this video helpful give it a thumbs up if you did make sure to subscribe for more omc2 tutorials and other useful tutorials regarding games youtube uh, streaming etc that's it for now until next time